In this video, I'm going to walk through an application of related rates. A spherical balloon is releasing air at a rate of 72 pi cubic inches per minute. How fast is the surface area of the balloon decreasing when the balloon's radius is 6 inches? So a quick sketch here, just to visualize, help us visualize what's going on. We've got a spherical balloon, and it is releasing air at a rate of 72 pi cubic inches per minute. That's what's happening. Now, we could talk about how fast the volume is changing when, when, um, the, uh, when the radius is 6 inches. But it doesn't ask just that, it asks the surface area. So we're actually going to take a couple of steps to, to find um, how fast the surface area is decreasing. So first, we have the two uh, formulas. The volume of a sphere. Vol volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So what we're going to do is we're ultimately, we, you have to think about what, what do you ultimately want to find? You ultimately want to find dA and dt. That's, that's what it's asking for. How fast is the surface area uh, decreasing? Or what is the rate of decrease? So you want to know dA and dt. Then you have to look backwards. Well, what do you need to find DATT? Well, let's see. Let's take the derivative, and when we do this for related rates, this is implicit differentiation. We're taking the derivative with respect to time. So DADT equals uh, 4 times pi times 2, because we're taking the derivative, is 8 pi. 8 pi r times, now with this implicit differentiation, Remember, we have to take the derivative of, it's like the chain rule, of the outside multiplied by the derivative of this r function, dr dt. And we did the same thing with, with a, by the way, um, but the derivative of a is just 1. So it's 1 times dA dt, whereas we had more going on with, with, the, uh, with the r variable. Okay, so just a quick note. I'm going to write implicit there so that you know, or you can remind yourself that that's what we're doing there with the related rates. Now, to find dA dt, we have the radius, but what we don't have is dr dt. So what we're going to do is we have dv dt right here, and we're going to plug in and then solve for dr dt, plug it in over here, and then find dA dt. So it's a nice, nice little detective case. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. All right. Here we go. The derivative dv dt equals 4 thirds pi r times 3. So we've got 4. 4 thirds times 3 is just 4 times pi times r squared now, and then times dr dt. Now, let's plug in what we know. The volume, when you're doing a problem on your own, when you're out on your own, Pay attention to the signs. It's releasing air, so the dv dt is actually negative. The dv dt is negative because we are losing a volume. The, the rate, is, um, rate of change is negative. The volume is decreasing. So I'm going to put in here negative 72 pi. And it's in terms of pi. That just makes it easy for us to cancel out the pi's here. So um, that's good. It's good for us. Makes it easy. Okay, equals 4 times pi times the radius that we're given is 6 inches, so 6 squared. What we don't know is dr dt, and if you divided 70, uh, negative 72 pi by all of this stuff, you would get, in the end, negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. I'm going to put a label on this. Negative 1 half inches per minute. 
That equals the rate of change of the radius. So the radius is losing a negative one half inch every minute when the balloon's radius is six inches. Uh, all right, we have this drdt. We're going to plug it in right here and then solve for da dt. Simplify. So I'll switch to green. Here we go. da dt equals eight times pi times we said six. The radius is six inches at this moment. DRDT we found to be negative one half inches per minute. Simplify all of that, and I'm going to round here. I am going to multiply, or I am going to approximate pi. We could leave it in terms of pi sometimes, depending on uh, if this is a multiple choice question, how it asks for it. But anyway, this answer is negative, negative 75, or approximately equal to negative 75.4. Square inches, remember we're talking about surface area now, so square inches per minute, put a label on it. All right, so that's, uh, that's the rate of change of the area. Now again, if, if this is um, a multiple choice or some computer graded test, it's going to be sticky on this. And it's going to say, look, we're asking how fast is the surface area decreasing? Well, it's not decreasing at a negative rate. It's decreasing at a positive rate. So we're, we're, it's, uh, it's a wording whether we're going forward or, or, or backward. Now, if it just asked how fast is the surface area changing, that is this. That is, that is what we found right there. That's how fast the area is changing. But it, it puts the negative sign in our mouths when it says decreasing. So we don't have to write the negative sign. You can say the, the surface area is decreasing at a rate of 75.4 square inches per minute. So kind of like up here, they said releasing at a rate of 72 pi, so we know that the volume was uh, changing at a negative rate. There you go.